Welcome, Mary's Taurus, to your mid-month reading for March. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in the mid-month. Best message for the mid-month days. Queen of Cups coming in. This is talking about being highly intuitive, having better understanding and perception. Um, this month is really about a lot of perception going on. Okay. So, and it also could be a new love that's surrounding you. So, knowing that someone is around you, you might have someone watching you. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking someone's watching you. They want to be your new love. Let's see what's going on over here. We're giving you that loving, nurturing, fresh new relationship. If you're having any kind of issues within a relationship, this person probably is coming in. They have the courage to want to fix the relationship. But I do see a lot of keenness and a lot of perception going on within you no matter what. Your intuition might be high about the situation as well, knowing that you are being watched or that this person really wants to fix this with you. It's talking about that deserving, having the intention coming through. Uh, look at that. Family, friends, and guides. Whoa. Okay. And we do have the loss. No longer feeling loss. Now we're having a great turnaround um, from the loss. Going over here to the family, friends, and guides is talking about your ancestors watching you. You would being guided by these ancestors, um, deceased loved ones and friends. Somebody is really watching you and helping you and guiding you through a transformation. Wow. So as you're going through this transformation in the recent past, you might even feel this pull or this tug or this overwhelming feeling of having um, some kind of deceased loved one um, around you. And it is showing, yes, they are there and they are tugging on your heartstrings over here. Um, really giving you the perception and the intuition, really opening up your psychic um, gifts for those of you who have psychic gifts, um, but really perceiving in what is needed for a transformation and they're guiding you through that, okay, through that transformation, helping you to let go, helping you to release. Okay, this is because you could have been in a lot of stuck energy. As the blessings are coming around, it's showing that you do have these blessings in the recent past, and you could have been very stuck in a um, in a, a very tight place or a very tight energy. Um, with the rainbow over here, it really you know is talking about those um, ancestors and deceased loved ones coming around. It's kind of crazy because if you see this little bubble right here, it actually looks like spirit guide coming to help him get off this his truck, helping him along the journey. So knowing that, you know, hey, I am definitely being guided over here. So very beautiful. With the deserving over here, you deserve so much more. And this month, you might even, at mid-month, you might even feel like you're deserving more. You might see that kingdom behind you and know that that is exactly where you are walking to. Um, there's going to be a lot of deserving rewards coming towards you, ideas and things that are going to, in, you know, get you really moving towards the things you really desire um, within your intuition over here. So knowing that you, you know, truly do deserve more and really having the courage to pick up, you know, kind of the pace over here towards these things. So I do feel like a more joyous, more happy, more um, well-deserved feeling Kind of like a lot of self-love going on with the great gratitude, feeling grateful for the things that you have. And you're going to find that there is going to be this person around you also. And this love over here that we're talking about could be this spirit guide. Um, it does don't, they'll feel like for some of you um, that you do deserve love and that this person is watching you. I'm sorry, I keep feeling that you have this person around you watching you, 
tugging on your heartstrings or they're trying their hardest to get your attention because um, they do know that you deserve love and they want to be the one there to give you that love. Okay. So through the great gratitude, we have the, the present power. So knowing that you're in this present power right now is going to be a lot of strength um, for you right now in the mid-month as you're really gathering your thoughts and gathering your energy together and putting through this extra courage um, to get to whatever it is. I do feel like this person's also going to gather their courage. Um, for those of you who have someone coming towards you, which you, you know, a lot of you, I feel like you do, um, they're definitely going to be in the present power as well as they're walking and courageously towards you, um, going to open up to let you know, right? This could definitely be a loving man or a loving woman showing their love, showing, you know, how much they do love you. Um, if it's not a, um, a love interest or a new love, it could be just this loving woman or a man who wants to help you through, you know, the, um, I don't know. They want to help you gather this power together. They're really empowering you. And it could be just a best friend that's really showing the extra kindness, extra love towards you. Very beautiful. Let's get some tarot cards out on this loving woman and this loving... Um, it just feels like whatever it is, they're really shedding love upon the situation doesn't matter if it's male or female. It's this nurturing, loving energy of, of a more feminine um, energy, right? That's all it is. It feels like if this person has felt like they had been kind of back in the shadows, they were going to kind of come out of the shadows now to show more control about the situation. And this is where the courage is coming through. Um, they also see you kind of taking control of the reins at this time. Um, so they feel like your energy is more, um, kind of boastful, right? And more, a little more forceful towards being more happy, towards being more set, um, in, you know, in the present, um, when your energy changes, it brings people, um, to you. I mean, it just feels like this person is just really wanting to be around you. They're really enjoying your energy at this moment. Um, this is because of the will of fortune that you have coming out. It's talking about that cycle change. It's talking about that kind of the new you um, feeling that you have at the mid-month where you're really um, more smiley, more happy. Your vibrations are much higher um, than maybe they were at the beginning of the month or maybe that they were last month. Maybe it started in the beginning of the month when you got out of this stuck energy. Um, but it's really being more forceful um, towards the mid-month than it was if it started during the beginning of the month. Um, and this is where the, a lot of love and connections are really going to be made and a lot of love connections. Like I said, you definitely have someone coming in who wants to make a love connection. Um, they do see you as the, you know, the smiley, happy person and the right person for them. Could definitely be a Cancer, guys. I have Cancer twice. So it definitely could be a Cancerian that's coming towards you. Um, maybe they were kind of hiding out in the shadows because they didn't have the courage. Maybe they feel like your energy is bringing them closer to you. Um especially Cancerian and Piscean energy, um, they kind of, you know, it takes a lot for them. They're a little more shy, um, especially males. So, you know, if you have this person coming towards you, you know, they're showing, you're showing them that it's okay, right? So they don't have to feel like, oh, maybe she's not going to do this or he's not going to do that, um, right? So they feel more comfortable with your loving energy going on, um, definitely. And they want to be of service to you. So whoever this person is, whether it's a new love or just a really good friend who is now coming back around um, because you're showing all of this um, high energy, um, they definitely want to be of service to you. So, you know, and you might even be at service towards them, right? So maybe you're saying it's not them going towards um, me, it's me going towards them. So maybe it's you, right? But however it is, there's a lot of at service, a lot of kindness and a lot of courage going on, um, which is going to make you in a happier place. It's getting back what you feel like you have self-achievement and the self-love and um, just really going after your own rewards at this time. And this being of service to you might be you just doing something for yourself as well. Um, so it could be two in one because you've closed the chapter on that stuck energy as you've transformed. Um, and we do see the huge transformation, not only from the recent past, but then this 
this opens this new cycle, right? So that close that chapter of you having any of that energy. Um, so it feels like things are going more in your favor. So wherever the loss was, is probably where this, this stuck energy was. So where you feel like you had a loss, now you feel you have an increase. So the increase is coming from all kinds of different directions. It's coming from the direction of the increase of self-love, of gratitude, of the power within, the courage, the love, the, the personal um, interactions, just, you know, all these beautiful things that are coming out of the Nine of Cups. So you do feel the increase. I see a lot of money in here as well. So if you are getting some kind of increase in money and things are going better, of course, that's going to pick you back up. That's going to pick your energy back up because now you feel like you are um, definitely back on track and getting your well-deserved uh, what you deserve, right? Okay, so whatever you felt like has escaped you before or that you have escaped from that or somebody has stolen from you or, or stolen your heart from you or however it is, whatever you felt was either your great escape or theft, <laughs> some kind of loss, right, is now making a huge change around and it is bringing you back to the stability where you feel stable. And the stability is really going to be within this root chakra and the root chakra is saying, I feel more secure. No matter what the situation is, I feel the security within. Security comes from needing love, needing money, needing shelter, right? I can eat. I can, you know, drink. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can pay the bills. So this security coming back, wow, has opened you up to more communication. So there could have been a time that you just were not as more, you know, as communicative. Um, and maybe that's why this other person is kind of not hiding out anymore. Or maybe they felt you were kind of hiding out. That's, you know, see how it is. But your communication skills are way better and you feel like you want to communicate. So it does feel like the communication is going to be right back on social status where you would like it to be. Um, so I love that. And this is because you're progressing forward. So as you're moving into the new, you know, the near future potential outcome over here, my friends, you're going to feel like the movement is even moving more. So you're going to feel like this is kind of a tidal wave of things going your way. You're going to see so much more happening for you um, as you are moving on your journey over here. And there's going to be some risk, some kind of risk that you're going to have to take. Something that's going to make you want to leave. Something that's going to make you want to say, you know what, pack your bags, let's go. It's metaphoric. It doesn't mean you actually have to go. Some of you might be actually traveling. Um, but the whole point is, is, it is something that is going to push you to the next, the next level that you're going to want to look at, um, right? And a lot of you, oh my goodness, <laughs> hands like feet, but that's okay. So, or hooves, right? <laughs> Since I'm Taurus. Okay, anyways, so, um, but it's definitely going to be something that you have dream you have dreamt about, something you have thought about before. Something that you would have liked to have put your hand on this one once before. And it's now coming to light and saying, you know what? Go ahead and take this risk. This is going to make you very happy though. So, and it could be literally this new relationship coming in as well. So maybe where they're coming towards you um, in the present right now, maybe you haven't really taken that offer yet, but maybe as you communicate more with this person, um, you're going to want to take that risk because it looks good, right? It's looking real good over here. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of decisions and there's going to be a lot of blessings coming out of these decisions, which is going to then bring you to the victory that you really need. Um, so this is definitely going underneath the root chakra of it's not just something I want, it's something I need, right? It's, it's, it feels good. It's a security and it might even be the security blanket right, that we all possess within our root chakra. Okay. So this will definitely give you something to look at, and you're going to know that it feels like the perfect timing to say yes to the dress, only for the fact that you're going to not want to look past this, right? You're not going to want to look past this, and this could be coming out next, you know, to the next new moon. Or, yeah, why do I say new moon when it's a full moon, but it could be new moon. Huh. Okay, well, I'm just going to go with it because I was, you know, it's a full moon, but for some reason, Spirit wants to say the next new moon. Okay, well, I'm not going against my own intuition. So just leave it there. Okay, so 
But however it is, it feels like it's time for you to be able to do this. The next, well, we're going to say new moon. Um, that's when everything's going to really come to light. That's when the intuition is going to really get sparked up again. See, because your intuition's really sparked right now. So this is when the intuition is going to say, you don't want to miss this opportunity. This is really what you, this is what you've really dreamt of. And definitely this risk is what you want to take. Okay. And it's going to give you a lot of thinking opportunities about what's really going on. And like I said, some of you might have this, this Cancerian person coming through, um, that you're going to say, you know what, I am going to give you a risk. I am going to give you a chance. You're a very loving person. Um, and I do feel this very loving, um, energy coming through this person, but probably also because it says a loving woman. <laughs> so maybe it looks like, oh, my mind already said it. So that's why you're feeling it. Got it. Okay. So, Hey, you know, go with it, but this is where the balance really comes through. And that's good though, because you know, once you feel balanced, my friends, it's going to feel like you can do other things um, and not feel stuck again. So it's going to bring in a lot of different decisions and opportunities along the way. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.